Hi all, in this video I am going to show you guys the best export settings that can be used in DaVinci Resolve which can give you high quality output both in video quality section, audio quality section and color accuracy section. You are going to get the best quality out of these export settings and also I am going to give you guys the advantage and disadvantage of using these export settings. <music> First we are going to directly look at the export setting. So head over to the DaVinci Resolve delivery panel and from there choose custom video option and from the format choose QuickTime and on the Kodak choose DNX HR and on the type choose DNX R HQ if your footage is 8 bit if it is 10 bit choose the HQX 10 bit if it is 12 bit choose HQX 12 bit if you don't know the color bit of your footage then probably your footage is 8 bit because most of the camera shoot at 8 bit and if you are like what happened if I choose 10 bit or 12 bit there will be a lot of noise in your footage after export also the file size is going to be enormous so choose the correct bit don't use higher bit like it's going to give high quality it's not going to give you high quality so choose the correct bit after that set the resolution and frame rate depending on your footage and add out to the audio section and set the Kodak to IEEE float we are choosing IEEE float because it is giving more clearer and richer sound compared to linear PCM and AAC after that from the sampling rate set that to 96000 and from the bit depth choose that to 32 bit and press render and it's going to render out your project and you are going to get high quality output from these settings so that's all about the rendering project in DaVinci Resolve but if you look at the file size the file size is going to be enormous and if you are not happy with that file size we can reduce that file size without losing that much quality by using and break application and I'm going to show you guys the guide over here so that you can reduce the size so download the handbrake application from the link given in the description open the handbrake application and import this exported video from DaVinci to this handbrake using import option or just dragging and dropping to handbrake and from the summary tab set the format to mb4 and add out dimension and make sure the resolution is same and there is no crop applied then after that add out to video section change Kodak to H265 if you got 10 bit footage choose the 10 bit and if you got 12 bit footage choose that too so if you got 8 bit choose H265 after that from the quality change the quality to higher quality by sliding the slider and add out to audio section and in bitrate choose the highest bitrate available and if you got subtitle in the video change that settings from subtitle tab now from the bottom section choose save as and choose the location where you need to save this file and press encode from the top now you got yourself the file that you are going to like that much because the size is very small compared to the exported project and in the quality section you can't really find a difference i tried to check it lot of times and after doing it for more than lot of times i couldn't find that that much difference from both the project exported from davinci resolve and from this android so you can use this unbreak footage to upload to youtube or to share to anywhere you are going to get the high quality footage with a smaller size now for the advantage and disadvantage of using this export settings the advantage is that you are going to get a good quality high quality output your video is going to be in good quality audio is going to be in good quality your color is going to be very accurate and your getting high quality output and the disadvantage of using these settings is that the file size is enormous even if you use handbrake the file size is still big compared to other export settings second one is that the rendering time will increase but on my experience it didn't change that much the H.264 rendering and this DNX HR rendering is same but it will differ based on the devices so it just increased a slide so it's going to affect your performance or your timing and the third thing is that if you use handbrake the rendering time again increases but is it worth it it's absolutely worth the 
time that you are going to spend because you are going to get a good quality output on my experience of using this output settings in a bright video it didn't made a lot of change compared to h264 and h265 but in the video which contain shadow area that is dark type video then this export settings is making a huge difference compared to h264 and h265 so that's it that's all about this simple video guys i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe